Welcome back to Politics Unplugged. Governor Hobbs has named a new head of the Department of Corrections here in Arizona. It's Dr. Ryan Thornell. He was previously the Deputy Commissioner of Corrections for the state of Maine. He's credited with instituting a new model for corrections. Their inmates were referred to as residents and reforming restrictive housing policies like solitary confinement. So is he prepared to move up to Arizona's much larger corrections system? And here to talk all about that is Carl. Carlos Garcia, the head of the Arizona Corrections Peace Officer Association. Thanks for being here. And let's Glad just start here. off with your initial reaction when it was named that, the, that he was going to be head of the Department of Corrections. And he was moving from a place of, in Maine where the total inmate population, men and women, was about 1,600. And he's moving into a, uh, you know, Arizona to take over a system there with over 30,000 prisoners. You know, those who don't learn from their past have to repeat it in mm -hmm. the future. We warned them about Ryan. They claimed he was good. We were right. He's gone. They bought Shin, another outsider, who, by the way, had a ton more experience mm -hmm. than this fellow coming over. A ton more in correctional mm -hmm. experience, but he was an outsider, not bred in the Arizona prison. We warned them, please don't put him here. They said, let's give him a chance. Mm -hmm. He failed. Two years later... We did a campaign where we would talk to everyone, including Mr. Ducey, the legislator, and said he's not working out. Mm -hmm. And they said, still let him hang in there. Now he's gone. He skedaddled away. I'm saying it. He skedaddled away. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now the same people that hired him and lauded him before are now saying he's the worst director you guys ever had. He you guys put him in there. Mm -hmm. We warned you. We fought against you. You shut us down. And then here we are. So what do we think about him? Another failure. Uh, uh, so, but what about the idea you're bringing somebody out from the outside in with a fresh perspective? He's known as a reformer. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? I mean, if, if, if there are problems right now, maybe an outside perspective yes. will fix that. No. Knowledge is transferable in some, in some aspects. When it comes to the culture of prison mm -hmm. and the dynamics and the politics and the level of custody and all that, that knowledge is not transferable, my friend. Mm -hmm. It is not transferable. He's okay for where he was at. He was a very small place. I'm from Brooklyn. I know Maine well. Very mm -hmm. small, a lot of snowbirds there. Crying very low, opiates. What do we have here? We have nothing but, we have cartels. We have gangs. We have eight gangs and five that we're trying to certify. It's a free-for-all. He's going from a place where there was bunny rabbits to a place where there's lions. It mm -hmm. is not transferable. So have you, have you, are you going to be meeting with him? And if, uh, you know, and if you do meet with him soon, what are you going to tell him? I want him to meet with me. I'm not an enemy. I am, if anything, I'm one, going to be one of his best friends. I'm the one that's going to tell him, listen, I don't know what your agenda was over there. It doesn't fit here. Listen carefully. This is what you need to do. You are coming in what I called in another segment, a bombed out World War II post-Berlin. We have to, from the ground up, get engineers and build it. You can't come in here and institute a mentality that is just not going to work. And I mean, you relayed this message yet to Governor Hobbs yet? Like we you tried. guys are in serious need, well, according to you. Yeah. Well, yeah. a week ago, well, it's been more than a week. We reached out to her and say, we've got a big problem. Shinska daddled. He didn't leave no one behind. Mm -hmm. Um, Strata didn't even have the courtesy of saying, I'm leaving. He just left, got a job somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Then you have the rest of them just fleeing left and right. No one's in command. We have lawsuits to deal with, inmate grievances. Person, we have assaults. I mean, who do we report to? They shunned us. No one. We got no answer. Yeah, and the new director is going to be facing some of those, some, some of the fallout from the lawsuits, particularly when it comes to, to the health care. There's uh, with some big issues there that was brought yes, up. Sir. And he's going to be walking into the middle of that, correct? No, not the middle. He's, he, this is, it's a bump. It's, it's a hole. It's a flaming hole. And he's going to say, what happened? I thought there was an institution here. All I see is smoke, rubble, and, and there's rats running around. <laughs> That's what you inherited. But what about some of those reform efforts we know in Maine? He did st start referring to inmates as residents. Yeah. He started, you know, he, he reformed solitary confinement there, yeah. where what he now terms restrictive housing, where, instead of sol where people, um, instead of being solitary confinement 24 hours a day or 23 yeah. hours a day, he's allowing them outside uh, for seven hours a day. I think inmates have access yeah. to computer tablets and things like that. Yes. Can't that be a help? No, that was only made for the public. Anything that happens in prisons and in law enforcement is to cater to the public. It's mm -hmm. called fluff. Mm -hmm. In our culture, we call that fluff. 
you show the nice flowers. I've seen the videos with the nice flowers out there. There's inmates cooking eggs, okay? They have a lounge. I'm not trying to laugh at it. It's just the reality of prison is going to be horrific for this gentleman when he gets here. That might have worked over there. I would say it would work, and I'll tell you why. It was a 1,600 inmate population. I have one unit here that has more inmates than that, okay? So, and when you're dealing with a lower class of offender, maybe opiates, white collar crime, you're driving too fast. Will that approach is okay? I would say so, yes, but it's not transferable. You are going from bunnies to lions. We have here everything from New Mexican Mafia to Old Mexican Mafia, Nazi lowriders, sympathizers, white gangs, Mexican cartel members that like to put you in a barrel and let you travel around the world. You think you want to call that guy resident or that you're going to reform him with some kind of rapport or psychology? He's going to look at you and goes, what I want to do is get you out of the way so I can go about, about business. You're in my way. All you're right. blocking my path. You locked me down. I don't like to be locked down. You restricted my freedom. I'm a criminal and I don't I don't care that you're the good guy. You're the guy that I'm going to come after when I'm done. Can't reform him that way. No. I'm going to have to end it right there on yep. that, Mr. Garcia. Thank you very much thank for you. stopping by here and uh, yeah. giving us your perspective on yeah. this. And up next.